So, I guess, start tayo. Who's the KT? Yeah, oh, good day everyone. Um, it is, uh, it is uh, an amazing day because I, I actually never thought of um, that I'd be interviewed again like this. So I would like to thank, of course, Orange Magazine, Jeman, for, <coughs> you know, I always view myself as someone that, uh, I'm just a simple person and I, I always want to, I always prefer na parang low key and, and down low. Um, so being interviewed like this, I know it's, it's not nerve wracking, um, mm -hmm. it's not uncomfortable. I, I kind of, I, I, but I, more so, I'm appreciative of being treated like you're special. So I'm, I'm really grateful. I, I came from ano, Toronto. Actually, no, Toronto, and then I went to New York because after this trip in Manila, I'm heading to, um, uh, I'm heading to New York. I'll be there for like three days because there's a convention. I'm a big comic fan, and I'm also a big Funko Pop fan. So I, I have a huge collection in Toronto in my studio and um, yeah so I've been based in uh, Toronto for how many years uh, I've been there since 2006 mm -hmm. um, I, I the reason why I moved was because I, I just wanted to try something new mm -hmm. um, you know you, when you're younger there's a rebel in you that just wants to do what he wants in life so uh, I didn't want the limelight I didn't want the attention I yeah, so parang ganun yung part ko before and then um, I, tr I tried the parang a new life there and it was very uh, so different actually um, cause, but, but I, appreciate the f I appreciated the fact that no one knew me not that I considered myself famous I will never consider myself famous but um, may, may mga kilalang friends um, but uh, ayun, so when I was there iba, iba yung lifestyle and then after after more than a couple of years, parang sabi ko, parang wait, I thought I would not sing again, but na enjoy ko siya. So I actually sang with um, parang in 2010, parang there was a like a Filipino event, may yearly event kasi sa sa Canada, sa Toronto that they promote Filipino music. So Mikey Bustos was there even before he got big. So we would parang we would be in the event. Tapos ayun, na may mga local artists then and. Uh, Eventually, I worked as a as a barista uh, in Starbucks. Actually, in Starbucks before I was a barista before, and then I just really wanted to try something new. But I'm because I think being a barista and then becoming a supervisor and then like an assistant manager and then a manager of like re in retail, but it teaches you so many things. Because before, um, when I was younger, I would not talk to people, not because I didn't want to talk to people, but I just really didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. So, but people would view me even in ABS-CBN. Back in the day, they would they would, parang view me as someone na mayabang or like snobero or like you know, But but deep inside, I was actually really shy. I know I, I'm an introvert until now I am. But so, somewhat, you know, because of like what we do, sure, me too. Maga just kare. Um. So anyway, um. So na batayo. So. Attention, attention. Um, in Canada, in 2016, I started teaching kids, mm -hmm. and that's when I found the confidence to play some music again. Mm -hmm. Because in 2010 to 2014, I was going through something really serious in my life. It was, it, it's personal, but I'll, I'll say it anyway. I've experienced depression, mm -hmm. and it was, it, it was not a joke. I say it was the darkest moments of my life. I would I would be at the lowest of my lows. I would feel like I was worthless and I would feel like I'm not good. I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this, I'm not that. And surprisingly, um uh sometimes because when you're related to the so my families or friends, sometimes they make fun of you. And some Filipino culture, sometimes it's a joke. Mm -hmm. Pero, Ako kasi iba yung personality ko, so sometimes I deem the jokes as something na serious. Mm -hmm. Or minsan kahit na medyo naasar ka lang. So medyo na ano ko siya, nag, nag, naging collective siya ng, uh, collection siya ng mga parang hindi magagandang nasasabi about me. And then, yung mga hindi magagandang nasasabi sa akin na seryoso na from family members. Na, Bakit ganyan ka? Bakit hindi mo nagawa ito ba? So ang daming frustrations na pumasok sa akin. Plus, um, on top of the responsibility, because I've been... Um, Actually, I've been um, the breadwinner of the family since I was 14 years old, mm -hmm. and sobrang tagal na, sobrang tagal na. But you know, it's one of the things that I I look 
I look back and I'm like, I'm happy that I'm able to do that for my family because I love them so much. Um, but anyway, so back to being depressed. That was the reason why I want. I really wanted to stop singing that like, completely. And I, I, I kind of like pushed everyone away, family, friends. I, and but the, the only saving grace that I had before was uh, the Morning Rush, the podcast. I was listening to uh, Chico, Delamar, and Gino. Mm -hmm. And but when, when, when I would feel down, but I just listen to the podcast. I don't care about the world. I'll just listen to the podcast and I'll be okay. Um, and then aside from that, I also listen to Kaila because uh, I've been a huge fan of ano, Kaila, Brian McKnight, Stevie Wonder, JR, like mga locals. Uh, pero yun yung para mga pag malukot ako and I would I wouldn't have anyone in my life. Yun yung go to work, music and podcast. So after non, so so to, that's 2010 to 2014. Um, every time that I would see, uh, it's so dark. Okay, let me go into the dark. When I would see a train, I'd like to jump. Or like when I'd see a bridge, I'd, I would be like, I, I don't, I want to end my life. Do you think about it? Yeah, all, parang malam, malaming, be, malaming beses. Mm -hmm. And then, yung ano lang talaga sa utak ko was my sister. Her name's Din Din. She has Down syndrome. And parang she's my, you know, she's my, she's the source of my power. Parang, like when I feel down or like when I feel like I'm, in a tough spot. Oh, sobrang parang sabi ko na, I need to do this for my sister and my mom. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't love my dad. I love my dad and my brother too. But of course, parang iba yung iba rin yung love ko for my sister and for mm -hmm. my mom. Because my mom actually taught me the value of kindness and being, ano, parang being always humble, being understanding of people and yung mga ganun bagay. So I appreciate her so much in my life. So anyway, so... Luckily, I, I've been, I had been praying, it's so funny, because I had been praying, sabi ko, what do I need to do? Why do I, do I feel so down? And, yun lang talaga, siguro na miss ko yung pagkanta. Mm -hmm. Plus, I kind of felt na, but, kasi I gained weight rin, so mm -hmm. parang, until now, of course. But I mean, iba kasi yung culture sa Philippines. Um, na parang kapag, like, when you're fat, or when you're bigger, people would mock you, and people mm -hmm. would make fun of you, like, parang mm -hmm. But in Canada, it's different. Mm -hmm. So, it, 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 medyo mas okay yung para ng kudod kasi yung kumbaga mas naging comfortable ako na to eat and, and, and to parang love myself, my, my body, and I wouldn't care what other people would say. I learned that along the way. Um, so, that, that, that was why I, 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 um, I started a, when SoundCloud was out. Mm -hmm. you, you guys familiar with SoundCloud? Okay. Yeah. So, I, I, I did some covers, and it's funny. Because one of the covers was, you know, it was Cupid by um, 112. It's an R&B, you know. Tapos nakano siya ng ano, one million plays. Oh, it, it's, it's not something to be super proud of, but I'm just saying that it's surprising that people would listen and mostly would come from the like the black community and then telling me, oh, it's good, mm -hmm. you should pursue it. So someone parang nag nakakabusa na parang oh, I should, I, should I continue? Should I not? Should I continue? So imagine nagkakaroon tayo ng medyo counting confidence and then yun nga. Um, fast forward to 2016, that was the time that I started teaching kids. That was when I found myself. Because um, I think I found my purpose in there. Na parang, if, if I were to leave a mark in this world, what would that be? And that, that mark is to um, parang share what I've learned throughout the years in music and, and as a human being, and, and being a big kuya to the kids. But aside from it, yung parang, I, I wouldn't want anyone to feel down or like when when I kind of but I'm sense someone is um, going through something that makes them feel that they're worthless or that they they're nothing or like they're this they're that but I want to be like hey you're gonna get through that I am for sure it's easy for me to say right now but I've been there um, it will take time for you to find the light but that's kind of like the message that I have mm -hmm. kindness is a superpower that I always but I always want to remind everyone that you possess that so you should but I'm, um, use that every day like be kind to everyone but along the way also but I learned to be kinder to myself to be but I'm, give myself more credit for the hard work that I've been doing not just for myself but also for my family and for the people around me um, so anyway back to the kids I see so much joy when people around me are successful. Mm -hmm. um, I see so much joy when I when I see the kids, but I'm performing in front of me, and then nakita ko yung confidence nila na starting to bloom, and they're like, "Thank you so much!" And yung family nila nagiging proud, and then in turn, 
si yung students para masiging confident to do even better. So, yun yung ano, parang uh, byproduct ng pagtuturo sa mga kids sa, uh, sa Canada. I taught uh, in a classroom, mm -hmm. minsan 24 to 30 students and um, along the way I learned to parang just focus on um, ano ba? Uh, like one-on-ones mm -hmm. na parang developing their style. But what I love about teaching kids was kapag sinabi mo sa nila, like they're either 5 years old or like 10 or 12 or ganon, pag sinabi mo na sa kanila na may potential sila, pag sinabi mo sa kanila na do it, you can do it, or pag sinabi mo sa kanila yung isang quality about their voice that you like, nag, nag sobrang nag-glow yung mata nila and they appreciate that. And I love doing that. Not because parang ano lang, parang lip service. No, it's not. But it's, I think, like finding what's good sa isang bagay or, or parang having it as your parang ano ba, default to find what's good kung ano yung nakita mo, naririnig mo. Parang may iba yung may iba yung araw ng isang tao. Like it will make them feel better. In turn, pag yung mga tao, ganun yung pakiramdam sa bawat isa. Mas, mas for me, surroundings mo mas maganda. So, that's that's why I am. And then, nung nag-concert ako nung, eto, eto sobrang surreal and Jeman was here. Um, 2017, I, I, 2016 was the time that I started believing in the, the power of positivity and I read a book, it's called um, E Squared, and the, the, the author was Pam Groots. And marami siyang um, parang mga, what do you mga, sa science, what do you call it? Like experiments. Yeah, marami siyang experiments. And, and kailangan patunayin mo siya sa buhay mo. And one of the experiments there parang told me, if you want something in your life to happen, you would parang, parang write a sign, so let's say a red butterfly, Tapos that sign, red butterfly, every time you'd see that, it will remind you that whatever you want in life is going to happen. So every time, na pag, kuwari lang, example lang yun, pag may itong red butterfly, mine was, ano kasi, 777, because 7 is my favorite number. So 777, I'd see it here, I'd see it there, I'd see it here, I'd see it there. So, it was funny kasi, um, ang ganda nung experience ko nung 2017. I would never imagine na si Kyla, who I look up to, and I've done some backup vocals for her before. Naka do it kusha on stage. So it was like, what the f So I was like, that was a surreal experience. And then, um, when the Wish bus was like super new, diba? so parang artists would, would clamor and be like, oh, I want to be a part of it. I want to be inside the Wish bus and sing it. I never thought that I would be able to. Like, I do single, I do anything. But fortunate, fortunately, Siguro may mga kilala tayong friends and they knew me and they're like, okay, sure, you do it. And I was there, I sang there, so I was like, wow, this is something good. And then may kakalala rin tayo na parang na-forward na tayo to promote sa CNN Philippines. That's crazy. I'm like, TKT ang And then, so, sa reaction ko sa utak ko, parang, okay, well, we got this. So I have to be grateful and thankful, of course, because I always am. Tapos na nandun kami, nagpa-promote kami. Siyempre, nahiya ako, but again, Yung mga bagay na yun na hindi ko inexpect sa buhay ko na mangyayari, nangyari siya because ano lang, kumbaga I believe in yun yung, yung mga, i-manifest mo yung mga gusto mong mangyayari sa buhay mo. So, and then, bumalik ulit ako ng Canada. I thought uh, mas may magaganda mangyayari but I don't know, I just, I lost my focus again. Because I, I was focusing again on teaching. Kasi nagko-compete nag yung mga students ko and then what happened was I lost my voice. For 16 months. So from 2019 to 2020, my voice was like, like I was like that. Because I mga tinuturo ko sa mga kids, mostly kasi ng students ko, girls. So pag competition, imagine mo ka ngayon nila, I don't wanna miss a thing. Or ano mga, I believe. So like, ako kasi, I believe in, pag, pag teacher ka or pag magpo-coach ka, you have to be able to do what you are going to ask your students to do. Para mas meron ka, para mas mapaniwalaan ka nila, para mas magagawa nila. So, anyway, I lost my voice 16 months and again, hindi naman super depressed but I was like, God, what did I do? What, bakit ako naglawala ng boses? And I was again, super, super down because I didn't know what to do, sabi ko what's next. Because that was the only, parang that was, that was the very thing that was special about me. Na alam kong I do really good kapag nag-focus ako. And then I lost it. So, yung pakiramdun na parang you're worthless, you're nothing, parang it's all coming back. Um, 
Pero mas resilient ako sa pagiging malungkot or sa pagiging depressed. So, kasi may, ano na ako yan, may friends na ako, nakikipag-usap na ako. And then, pagdating ng pandemic, nas, lahat ng tao, even myself, because I, I actually lost my job too. Mm-hmm. For a bit. Um, but the government was, you know, was giving us financial aid, so we were lucky. Like, if you lost your job for like a good eight months, the government will provide you with financial aid. So I, I survived somewhat because yeah, I support my family. Here's what happened. So everyone was like, the pandemic is crazy, I'm scared, blah, blah. And now in, in my head, I'm like, I lost my job, what do I do, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't work. I just ako kasi I was pina check ko sa doctor, sa, sa doctor yung, yung, ano ko, yung vocal folds ko talagang damaged siya. Sabi niya, I need two months straight na walang gagawin, walang hindi magsasalita, hindi mag, um, hindi magkakanta. And it's funny because when he said that, that was before the pandemic, tapos sabi ko talaga sa kanya, how can I do it? It's my main job. I I work in retail. And then I I, I teach kids. How, how, how can I not talk? It's impossible. Like, how can I teach someone? It doesn't make sense. Right? So, pandemic, I got the rest. My voice came back slowly. So sabi ko, God, is this the message that you're telling me na should I sing again and just continue parang do, parang living, living life with kindness and just singing and just, you know, being a good example to young kids or you know, to your friends and your family or the people around you, kahit mo kilala. So, doon ako mas na-inspire. Um, actually, dapat may release akong single under Viva. Mm-hmm. Basta may nais kasi kami sa sa mga requirements eh. but it was under Viva it's a um, it's a cover from the ones it's done it's it's recorded it's actually pretty good and the one who produced that album I mean the the produced that song was the producer of the ones see si Jacob Clemente who's a who happens to be a friend of mine from Cali so anyway long story short um, again starting to parang save save up some money again and then Kumu I, I discovered Kumu and then I started streaming. No, like for, for a good couple of months, I would only have like 10 to 12 viewers. And I was like, okay, soldiering on, we're, we're having fun, we're just singing. But eventually along the way, people would watch and I'd be featured in mga, mga shows ng Kumo. Again, I'm not considering myself sikat, but it's like, nakakatuwa yung ganun pakaramdam na people make you feel important. So in turn, you have to be really good para hindi sayang yung oras nila. And then eventually, may mga supporters tayo na nakakatuwa na totoo pa lang um, people would buy a virtual gifts to show you their appreciation and it's crazy it's mind blowing how much they've given me from then on until now so until now like i'm like why um so dun ko rin natutunan sa kumu actually because i started streaming in august 24 2020 dun, dun talaga ako nag stream tapos from then on, and dami ko na tutunan. So, kung before na focus na ako sa ballad ng army, parang right now, I do like other like genres as well. So here I am. Like I, I decided to have a show, kasi nga parang initially it was only for ano for my Kumu supporters, mm-hmm. parang to to meet up with them. And, but wait, wait a wait a second. I have some friends from like the old 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 times, and they they want to see me too. So might as well like also invite them. So I invited like my friends and family, and they're watching. So, ay so I'm excited because iba na yung sound, iba na yung music. I've learned so much, and mas mas careful tayo sa paggamit ng voice because I've lost my voice. So basically, a message ko lang is music with kindness and love and being grateful and just continuing what I can continue in music. So, yeah. all right. Um, maybe, sorry, <laughs> not at all. Um, maybe let's start also with uh, with the things that you've done with music. When you were in Canada, did you like? Have to start all over again. Mm. Um, and what avenues have you tried as far as the music career is right. concerned? Okay. Well, in Canada, kasi, when when I was new there, people people would you know, encourage me to join Canadian Idol when it was still there. Mm, okay. um, but um, I was still working on my papers before mm. I could legally be allowed to sing. Yes. So I I couldn't join because it's for. Oh, because it's work, and you have to be, but you have to have legal papers if not. Yes. So that um, and uh, what I've noticed, because in Canada it's so much, it's so different. Um, uh, obviously, iba yung taste nila for music, mm-hmm. so that's one. But then they, we also have the Filipino community in Canada, and it's also different compared to here. Mm-hmm. So 
ano sila eh, mas um, mas old school sila doon kasi mm. yung mga like yung mga, yung Filipino community doon it's it's led by yung mga talagang yung mga matagal lang na mm. so the the ones who control um yung economy of music in like OPM music doon medyo ano siya limited siya sa dapat old school ka so in noong mga panahon na yon kumbaga na stuck ako sa pagkanta ng mga so ballads ballads so na learn ko rin actually mm-hmm. yung mga Basil Valdez na dati hindi ko pinapanggan but oh, of course i respect those artists but yes. Basil Valdez Martin Rivera Carrie Valenciano amazing like Miss Regine Jaya Lani okay. but i had to study and naging part siya ng parang ano ko nung parang um, arsenal when it comes to like singing mm-hmm. so yun but career wise to be honest no um ano ko uh, nag-focus ako sa pag save up ng Money and of course I've been supporting my family so that. Yes. But when it comes to like music, I've been writing songs. Mm-hmm. I've been writing songs and that's why I was really parang um, thrilled when I heard that oh OC Music, Kianos, Cipriano owns that. Sila um, sila Arthur Neri blah blah. Because it inspires me because I also write songs, de ba? Kaya nung nung sinabi mo parang oh I'm interested. I want to know. Maybe I can learn something or maybe I can talk to someone and then maybe they, we can work together. Blah blah. blah. Yeah, so I'm 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 really looking forward to it now because I know you know when you age, but I realize when parang oh time is of the essence. Mm-hmm. Parang if I don't do it now, when? Yes. So, yeah. so I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, has your like repertoire in music changed over? Uh, of course, it since it you, you're in Canada for the like a couple it of years. So um, so change. It's it's so funny because. When I was here, I would listen to I mean, I was in Dream Sounds. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, it was Keith Martin because of you, without you, magano. Mm-hmm. Um, yun yung medyo na leaning towards ako doon. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't embracing OPM music. Ikanda pala sobra. And pag travel ko nung pag travel ko sa Canada, doon ko mas na embrace na parang oh wait, ikanda pala nung mayon at kailan man, kasi yung buha ng hindi ka. I learned it. So, ibang ibang ano kasi siya ibasang flavor. So when you sing, like for example, um, uh, heaven knows what to say, even though for right now you're so far away. So it's like R and B-ish, yes. like major black sounding. But and then when you sing like your mga, so it's different. It's a it's a ballad. So means that ang nakakatuwa sa paglearn ko ng something parang. Uh, na na mimix ko siya nagkakaroon ng fusion mm-hmm. and then when i mentioned sa inyo kanina si Arthur Neri yung mga na 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 terasa mga si yung mga ganung tipong songs na na, na ano ko na rin nakakaya ko na rin siyang gawin because of kumu yun yung nire-request ng mga tao yung mga students mm-hmm. na tinuturuan ko yun rin yung nire-request sa akin so kumbaga ngayon parang medyo nagiging all around na tayo except for like heavy metal and hip hop but <laughs> medyo matututo na rin tayo ng counting pinoy rap it's so funny may mga may lahat pero mamaya wala ka mga sama sa pag- yung mga ganung tipo na tututunan ko na before yung mga ganung phrasing was extremely difficult for me but now when i learn it it's it's parang it's easy but i just breathe and it just comes out so are we expecting that to happen on yeah. your concert uh, yes. what what, um, what are like uh, the new things cuz You performed here uh, 2017, right? Um, but that was a long time ago. Yes. Um, I mean, over the years you probably learned thousands of songs. Oh, so brah. Uh, more than that, but yes. uh, what's what's gonna happen on the day itself? What's gonna happen on the day itself? It's it's gonna be well, it's an intimate event. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm excited because I think yung na experience si nung mga tao sa it's it's kind of like a level up leveled up version of myself when it comes to music. Mm-hmm. Um, so sa kumu lang nila nakikita yon online mm-hmm. lang siya or Facebook live mm-hmm. or pag nagpost ako sa YouTube. But now, they're going to see it live kung ano yung mga natutunan ko pa along the way during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So at what well, as, aside from uh, aside from like singing l- some oldies or like yung mga bago from Arthur Neri and the artists that I mentioned. Mm-hmm. I also um kasi when I sing, I believe in uh, parang you have to put your signature when you sing. Yes. You can't just sing a cover and just sing a cover. Yes. It's not, it shouldn't be that way. So may ganon. So may mga binocal arrangements ako or like may mga binali tayong mga songs na hindi siya part ng usual arrangement. Mm-hmm. So parang yeah. Will you be singing some of your uh, originally written songs in your show? 
I will, I might actually be singing one. I have, I have more than 20 written songs. Mm -hmm. I've never published any of them. But uh, before I, I joined the, was it Himi Gandog and then Phil Pop? I, om I almost got into the top 20, Cyan. It, it was one of my original songs that I co-wrote with a friend of mine. But yes, I'll be singing one of my original songs. What are some of the inspirations you had for uh, the songs that you wrote? That's a really good question. Um, uh, 20, uh, 2012 onwards, naglin tayo towards heartbreak. Mm -hmm. So, not just romantically, but you know, um, heartbreak when it comes to being rejected, or being pushed away, or like being taken for granted. Yung mga feeling. So, you know, when you, when you are hurt, when you are in pain, you have like tons of colors to choose from, like anong classic pain. Mm -hmm. So, when you're asking me about like anong inspiration, it's the pain. So, yung, yung pain na kung ano naramdaman ko, so ano bang, anong ta tipo ng heartbreak to, dun sa story ng heartbreak na yun, ilang tipo ng hurt, or anong level ng pain, anong, anong, uh, kumbaga, Anong level ng, anong magnitude ng pain, kumbaga. So I just parang, parang reach out from my pocket and then lalabas ko yung pain, okay, sa ito lang pala to, or dito todo to, parang gano'n. So I, I lean towards the, yung, yung painful side ng, ano, ng siguro relationship or ng friendship or something. Yes. So what kind of pain is this? Is like uh, Adele kind of pain? Or, yeah. or a Taylor Swift kind of pain? Oh. Um, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody. Mm, okay. Like um, uh, 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 I have a song, and it's like you know, dapat ikaw kasi lang sila. Tapos biglang hindi pala hindi. So it, um, the co can I sing it? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Cause I know, cause I know I'm not so hard to love, baby. But I need to take this pain away So I can love again Goodbyes are not forever Someone would say hello And I wish that one day To me someone would say I do Something like that, so yeah That's it uh, you mentioned that uh, your doctor advises you to, you know, you rest your voice. Yes. Yes. So, how are you doing that right now? You're, you're, you're singing. Are you completely yeah. healed? Or uh, are we in danger? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Well, I'm anu na. Parang I am, because I've lost part of what I could do before. Yeah. So, okay. before, there were notes that I could hit higher. Yung, yes. Like, for example, sa kahit kailan, it was easy for me to hit. Yung uh, sa huli, I, I could hit it. But now I can't. Um, so I stay away from like using a lot of like head tones. Head mm. tones because it's um, it's a false voice. Yeah. So so when you talk, it's like, hey, how's it going? But when you use your head tone, when you talk, hey, how's it going? Like, and it's it's a fake voice. So in vocal folds, but when you talk normally, it's just like this. But if but if it's you using your you're using your head tone, it's like times times three times four. Mm. So must prone ka to vocal damage. Mm. So right now, must careful ako dun. When it comes to the diet, it also affects. Actually, um, you you'd be surprised because when acidic, obviously when you when you experience acid reflux at night, and then when you wake up, the body you feel it here. Yes. Mm. That that also worsened my situation. Mm. So because I was eating a lot of meat, like no, but continuously, like just meat, like pork, pork all the way, and beef, beef, like steak. I would eat steak like any day. Mm -hmm. Um, so yun, it damaged my voice. So right now, siguro mas, mas ano ako sa... I can eat, I can still eat yung meat naman, pero ma control yung portions. Just Kasi before hindi talaga, like when I say meat, buffet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so yun. But now, ano, ingat lang, pero may, may chance pa rin akong to experience that. Okay. If, yeah. So, so right now, you're like, uh, not... Well... <laughs> somewhat fully okay. healed, somewhat yeah. fully healed, but... If I'm not careful, if I don't take care it's of it, going to it's back. gonna go. It, it's gonna go back. Okay. So, and I don't want that to happen. No one's okay. scared. So, well, SoundCloud and Kumo open up opportunities for you. So, wh what direction are you taking your music right now? What that's good. Um, you know what's funny? I I know some. Of course, I have some contacts from ABS. 
because I, I used to work with Kuya Jono Kong Nangalo. Um, and some of them, um, sino pa ba? See, I've, I've been recently in touch with Sir Mon Faustino. Um, he gave me some of his arrangements for Sir Gary. Because like, yeah, he saw me sa Kumu and he's like, you're good. So why don't you sing my version of the blah, blah, blah. So I, I did that. Um, but direction-wise, I'd say I, I, I want to maybe release the, the, the cover song that I have mm -hmm. and maybe uh, finalize it with Viva, like the deal when we release it. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, I'll be focusing on my originals. It, it's like a so, studio album. You're, you're going to come up with it. Or maybe we'll, we'll start as a single and then wedding eventually. Okay. Are you currently signed with Viva? No, 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 not yet. But we, I, had, I already had to talk with them because um, Jacob Clemente, who, who who handled the Once album before, mm -hmm. um, for Hindi, and with Hindi type where they like those songs, mm -hmm. and even Nasana, what's that? Storia, Storia. Okay, so so he handled those, and he's but he works with Diva. Yeah. He he produces like music for the likes of the Once, Regine Velasquez, and Land. So he's the one who's helping me. So we'll we'll just try out a single and see. Where it leads us. Yeah. Well, um, would you mind inviting uh, people to still put, Well, I'm sure it's probably sold out by now. <laughs> uh, could you invite people to your sure. uh, intimate concert? For sure, absolutely. Hey guys, I am DKTM and I am super, super delighted to invite you for uh, my upcoming intimate show. Uh, which is going to be held at the Bevitor in Tomas Morato, Quezon City. It's happening on October 1st, um, this Saturday actually. So if you guys could come, that would be amazing. I'll be singing a lot of your favorite songs. And of course, we'll make ballet the song so that you, you, you know, um, you'll be surprised at what we can do live. Um, but aside from that, we have some giveaways from our sponsors too. Um, Cebu Pacific is giving away like uh, flights for two people. Um, we also have some goodies from uh, Pop Culture Community or Popcom. So we have some Funko Pops and some shirts to give away and some goodies. So I'm I'm super excited na magim part kano if you could watch. What what's next after the Como concert uh, here Sorry? in the Philippines? What's next after the What's Como? next? Yes. Um. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, we are planning on having a bigger show. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't want to name a place because it's going to be a But uh, we're, we're planning to have a show next year, bigger, maybe mid next year. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have some guests, maybe Eric Santos might be there. Uh, which he will be celebrating his 20th year in the biz um, start from Star in the Million in 2003. So next year is 2023. So who knows, we might we might sing with him or maybe a guest in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and Maybe Kyla will be there, some some other friends from the music base. So, yes. And then hopefully talaga yung yung single talaga yung habol kay mga singles talaga So. Yeah. So DK, uh, what's gonna happen with you uh, as a person? Are you gonna stay in the Philippines or you're gonna go back to Canada? Okay. Um, for the time being, uh, I'm I'm I will need to go back. But again, after after my stay here in the Philippines, I'll be heading to New York for three days for. A convention. Mm -hmm. Right after that, I'll, I'll be just you know finishing some of my duties at work, mm -hmm. um, and then from there, because I had a talk with Jaman about like, hey, do, do do we have things to do in the Philippines? And mm -hmm. I said, if you know some some uh, like music producers that we can work with, because I can write songs for man, maybe we can try to do something. Maybe spend a month or two and then see where it leads us. Right. But I'm 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 more than ready to work hard. We're not getting any younger. And of course, with the platform, because it's super, um, parang it is my responsibility. Again, I found my, my purpose in life to spread the word of kindness to everyone. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it, it, it might be cheesy for a lot of people, but I don't care. Because again, I've, I've dealt with depression and I've dealt with like being lonely and sad and just being pushed over for, for, for how many years. And parang I want to be there for someone, kahit man lang virtually muna, na parang to push them. To